let's look at graphing um, linear equations using tables. Now a lot of times these are going to come in real world situations like this problem here. And we're going to want to do a little bit of editing of our um, data before we put it in our calculator. Here the table shows the population of the New York City and Los Angeles metropolitan regions from the census reports from 1950 to 2000. And we see we start in 1950 and we go up to 2000 and here are our populations. Assume linear trends continue, when will the populations of the regions be equal and what will the populations be? Now, if we look at this, here is our independent variable, here's our x. If I put this in my calculator, this is going to give me a very um, large window I have to look at. So let's do a trick where we take this first year and we make it year zero. So if 1950 is year zero, 1960 will be year 10, 1970 will be year 20, 1980 will be year 30, 1990 will be year 40, and, 19, and 2000 will be year 50. Now look at these numbers here. We've got millions here. So instead of putting in 12 million, let's put in um, our numbers as millions. So we will put in 12.9 million, 4.36 million, etc. Again, this is just to help us change our scale. So when we put the numbers into the calculator, you're going to put your first column is your independent variable, your x's, and you're going to start with 0 and you're going to go up to 50. The second column is New York, and the third column is going to be Los Angeles. Now you could take these probably no more than two or three decimals, but you do want to be consistent. <clears throat> Now, you're going to want to use a linear regression to find the best fit lines. You're going to want to use L1 and L2 for New York, and then L1 and L3 for Los Angeles. When you graph it, you're going to get something that looks like this. Now, you're going to see these aren't perfect lines, but the calculator will do the linear regression for you. <clears throat> Once you graph it, you're going to use your intersect feature and we'll practice some of this in class. When you do that, you're going to come up with this point right here is about 87, okay? This is an x value of 87. And so what is that? That is 87 years after 1950. So 1950 plus 87 is two, zero, three, seven. So in about the year 2037, the populations will be the same. 